Welcome to the worst survivor solo in Lethal Zone. This is Kat. She is a couch potato. She is limited to three cardio stars and she brings a minus one labor to the community. She's so lazy, she won't even make a cup of her own coffee. We will attempt to solo Lethal Zone with this worst survivor. And along the way, I'll give you tips and tricks to help you complete a solo in State of Decay 2. Who is your worst survivor? Are they worse than Cat? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you're subbed and hit that thumbs up and let's get this episode started. Welcome to episode two. Episode one is linked below if you wanna see this from the very beginning. Seeing how our girl Cat is a couch potato and she's super lazy, and this is going out on a Saturday, what does the perfect lazy Saturday look like for you? Anyway, let's get into episode two and see if this girl can keep surviving. Look at that around the base. That's not cool, man. Really gonna need another. I forgot the rest of my sentence. I think I'm a little tired. I keep losing my train of thought. But that's okay. Well, it's not in the front door like I had hoped. It is dark, holy cow. Oh, I know where this one is, it's right here. All right, this weapon is so gonna break. Should have brought the baseball bat as a backup. Hopefully we can get through this heart before it breaks. So you dodge into them to engage them, and then back to the heart. I got Okay. That heart actually gets me sometimes. Let's bring him over here for a sec. I do have this molly. I could move the car over and chuck it in the window if my weapon breaks. Maybe we queue it up. Should be able to hit them coming through the doorway too. As long as they don't come in the back window. Yeah, oh, there it goes. Okay. I was tempted to throw it. Let's see if there's a weapon in here. I hate wasting my stim time, and we're sleepy. So after this, after this, we've got to go establish the outpost. Look, they're already on to me. I can't build anything anyway, so that's only good for trade. Nothing. Great. Okay. Well, I still got the stim and I got this gun. But I've only done one, one phase. So I may have to leave and come back. Well, we have accomplished beating Lethal Zone with nothing but a knife, haven't we? Yes, we did. And it was a solo. A zombie. We'll link that up down below for sure. Yeah, so the battle for espressos and all that will... Has to be We're out of that. Probably gonna need... And we are like... I don't want to use a stim just for this. We can't always just come back. I mean, it's not, nothing's changing. We'll just finish this one later. Right? I think there's a lesson to be learned there. Uh, I should have parked this better. Nice, using that Y tip worked. So we do it again. Yes, it did. Nice. Oh, dang it. Then I got out, though. That was not good. All right, was it Lady X who gave me that tip? Who was it? In the comments, if you told me that, a couple of you have told me that. Let me know so I can shout you out sometime. I might record all these tonight, so... Like, I might try to do this all, like, in one to two sittings, so if I don't shout you out in the next episode of this, that is why. There is a truck. Um... I'm thinking, oh, I could store stuff back here. This is not... Ooh, that's nice. Um, you know, let's loot this. There's nothing going on. Let's loot it. We'll drop this. I don't have um, a workshop. I can never fix it, so... We have two things to search here. I can't do this slow search. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I just can't. Yeah. 
tap it. Um, okay. Well, that's that's decent. That's better than what I had, right? Uh, let's check this out. Hmm. Search. It's probably gonna be like parts. Where's the other thing? Oh, there it is. Yep. Uh, and seeds. That's what I needed. Alright, well, let's go. Um, I'm gonna go finish that heart. It's gotta be on its last legs. And I do have that pipe wrench now. park where they can't get on the hood that staircase is not sticking out quite enough to protect me from getting pulled out and that's not what I wanted to do let's go let's go come on put some 45s in this bad boy and that molly this is gonna be tricky I don't want to use that stim oh crap Okay. Yes! I'm glad I stuck to that principle. I would have been really upset to use a stim and then hit it one more time. We're going to try to loot this. Hopefully there's a heavy weapon in there. So after the heart, run them over unless there's any freaks. As you go farther, they line up more and more. So it's more of a single file line. It's like a sweet spot that you get. Uh, where you're not too far that they give up on you, but you're far enough that they all fall in line. So look for that spot. I should be able to kill one with my bare hands. And I'm gonna wait to see what's in the heart before I use any before I use any meds, because there might be something less strong that I can I can save these good ones. Yeah, I hear it. I don't see it though. I smacked it because I was afraid pressing Y would make me get in the car. Okay, I need to clear some space. This guy's out of ammo. Throw this in there. Um, oh, yeah, I'm going to equip this. Okay. And I know that um, the plague cures are going to stack, so I'll keep those in my inventory because that won't eat up any more slots when I grab these. Nice. Nice. Food. Oh, this is amazing. Yep. And we'll use this right now. Very cool. Police knife. Scary knife. I'll stick with the scary knife. What backpack is it? Neon green. I'm kind of liking um, not showing it for now. What am I going to search for this guy? I'm not going to like search the whole thing. We'll just like little things on the way. Shark hoodie. Woo. Smooth hound. Okay, well, I think she's earned the right to wear that. Letters in order. Shark hoodie. Smooth hound. Cool. Yeah, we're going to go with it. Yeah. Yeah. I parked over here. Forgot where I parked. This is Walmart all over again. Uh, this can be super handy at the next heart, I'll tell you what. All right, all right. Cruising on down. Um, I'm going to go all the way down to... Uh, I'm going to go all the way down to the espresso stand and start working over there. So I'm going to play like the sizzle song maybe a couple songs on state of the k2 radio unless i forget to do it in editing then this will be awkwardly silent let's turn on the car radio off the molly on the mall watching sizzle fuel bombs on the wall watching sizzle he's a man on fire call him sizzle all he does is inspire 
Sunset, another day, another night. Sometimes a man walks alone, he's gotta prove he's got the fight. A fry cook making minimum wage. Now he's the hero that we need in these last of days. Toss the molly on the mall, watch him sizzle. Fuel bombs on the wall, watch him sizzle. He's a man on fire, call him Sizzle. And all he does is inspire. From average to spectacular, a hero with a spatula. Smashing the lethal zone, reclaiming our homes. Sizzle takes a stand, frying pan in his hand. And everybody knows that Sizzle is the man. Toss the molly on the mall, watch him sizzle. Fuel bombs on the wall, watch him sizzle. He's a man on fire, call him Sizzle. And all he does is inspire. Okay, so the car is not in good shape, but that's okay. I need to call in some other survivors so I can trade with them. Get my influence up. I think this is going to say like not secure, yeah. Oh, it's not secure from the Plague Heart. I'm a dummy. Is it just the one? Two? Two? Alright. Well, we're gonna do this. Um... Yeah, it's probably this one and this one. I think there's a hidden weapons crate over here. Yeah, let's go check it out. Not happy about this car. I really don't want to end up on foot. One more zombie run over and I will be on foot. I forget exactly where it is. I think it's back here, yeah. Yep. My site not secure. Duh, I forgot about plague territory. That's how little I use outposts. Oh, yes, 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 yes. We will drop this bandage and we'll take this. Maybe we'll find a grenade launcher at some point. Is there anything interesting in here? That dude's just chilling there. Nah. Anything interesting here? Hmm. All right, let's go knock out a couple plague hearts. Be great to have a heavy weapon, but we don't. You know, maybe we check out that, um, we did call in a group, wonder where they are. It'd be nice to check them out. Maybe we trade with them real quick. Oh, they're, they're over there, okay. Let's just handle business, minimal. What is the minimum amount that I need to do? And this one is in a car repair shop. So let's just fully commit to knocking this thing out. So I could park across this way here, but the car is so jacked up, I don't think I want to do that. Or I could just loot this right now. But I didn't think of that. I could loot it right now, like before anyone gets here. I still have that option. But I think I'm valuing this time of hitting the plague heart, like, for free, pretty much. Okay. 
<coughs> Do I have any fire IQ, don't I? Oh, I got that smoke thing, yeah. Yeah, let's use that. Let's phase it once, though. We've already, like, committed so many hits, we might as well phase it. And then use that. I don't want to just smoke through this 762 just because I have it, because life's going to get harder as we go. So let's do this. Okay, that's a good thing. Let's let that phase cool out a minute. And then let's chuck this guy. Oh, shark hoodie. So who's the dude telling me living in a material world? I don't have anybody there. Okay. You know, they won't be able to see me in this. Hopefully I can land it properly. So they can't see me, and I don't think they'll attack me. Oh, dang, I did not mean to hit them. Okay, even though I hit him, he's not attacking me. Stay focused on the heart. Dude, this is sick, man. Even though I'm hitting them, they're not hitting me back. Dude, that was nasty, man. That's nice. Can I get another phase with that, or do I have to shoot it? We'll shoot it the third phase if we have to. But that was nice, man. I did use two stims now. I'm not happy with that. But that's life in a lethal zone. When your ammo spamming, keep moving forward and then dodge back when your heart feels it. <laughs> like, if that makes any sense. Um, because if you stand still, you're going to get bit. And even if you're moving, you're going to get bit, but you buy a little time by moving towards it. If you notice, if you hit the playback, you'll see me moving forward, like, slightly while I'm shooting. And then after just kind of a gut feeling, I know, okay, i got to dodge back. And it's just sort of a, an innate gut instinct that, okay, it's time to move back now. Time to dodge out of here. Man, what a waste of a stim, though. That's life in the lethal zone. That's what I tell my kids or tell my wife. Hey, I'm not feeling really good. I'm not feeling really good. That's life in the lethal zone. What are you going to do? You're going to stay positive and um, give it your best. And don't be afraid to fail, man. Don't be afraid to freaking fail. That's huge in life. Take your shots, man. Don't be afraid to fail. I'm big on that one. Like this, I so I fail. So what? So what? At least I did something cool. Yeah, you're like it's not that cool, but um, let's fix the car. Yeah, could you? Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't see the melee in there. I don't think it was a heavy weapon. Toolkit needed. I thought I grabbed one. I guess I didn't. Great. Okay. Right, what don't I absolutely need? I mean, two shotgun shells, uh, maybe. I don't need these seeds, that's for sure. Okay, so we'll drop the seeds. Drop these for now. I don't think I'm ever going to use those. I would use them in trade before I did anything. Most likely before I use them for something else. Okay. I probably should loot that other repair kit and just use it. This thing is jacked up. Let's see how much good it does right here. Ah, pretty good. Gave me my doors back. But I don't, knowing me, I don't backpedal much. Like, I don't, probably won't be back here anytime soon. Let's take that. Let's see if the vending machine has anything. Is that to open the door? I guess so. Because sometimes the vending machine has um, energy drinks here. Okay. Do, bo do mechanics drink a lot of energy drinks? Bob Cadaver? I'm asking you. Is that big in your field? Line of work? I don't think you're a big energy drink guy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, let's go. We got a juggernaut over there. Let's see if this one allows me to get the outpost I want. We're coming back through here if I want to grab that gear on the ground later. I don't really care. Minimal. Okay, got that dude. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Can I shoot it through the window? 
Looks like I can. And I think maybe that protects the door. I bet it does. Let's go with an energy drink this time. Could probably... I don't know, I would have bought more time. But I came in the window and closed that door. But whatever. Cool, three phase almost. Oh, got the feral out there. He's gonna come in here doing this thing. That's okay. Easiest way is go to the car. Now what the problem is here is that I believe there's a juggernaut not too far. We've already seen dangers of that. I still got stim in my system. Can I get this door closed? That should buy up. Oh, stim is over. Let's drink another energy drink. Not oh, I was looking forward to smashing through him with the door. Alright, it's one phase. I'm going over here, just kind of drag him over. I don't know. I don't usually do this. But I'm definitely not worried about like killing all those guys. Like that's this is not in my wheelhouse. It's not that interested in that. And I guess we go last energy drink just to clear that space. And uh, ammo spam. When we run out, when the energy drink runs out, we just blow it away. Hopefully these guys get stuck on all this stuff here. Dodge it. Okay. If you had a heavy weapon, you'd smack it, dodge back there, and dodge back. Like here, here. Turn around, let him walk towards you, dodge, dodge. Heavy weapon? A little trickier with this, especially with my lack of stamina. Right? See, the stamina's gone now. Let's see if we can just... That might have been the coolest thing I've done in a long time in this game. <laughs> Maybe. That was worth the ammo. And hopefully, I can get that outpost now. We shall see. Let's see if we can get him in two shots here. And all that noise did not attract the juggernaut. So that's nice. That was no quiet gun. There goes my door. That's kind of annoying. And I just spent two... Uh, I just spent two um, repair kits on this, and already the door's gone. I guess I deserve that though. And that door's gone. All right. Okay, we got a lot of dudes. Let's speed loot this. Meaning, loot it really quickly. And then just get out of here. Okay. Nice. Ooh, nice. No heavy weapon? Okay. Let's go. Ah! Oh, bloater. Okay. Let's see if we can get this outpost now. If not, then the heart would be on the other side. It's still covered. Okay. That's all right. Um, I don't know which one's covering it though. And I don't remember if I have any fuel in the trunk. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that one. That was pretty obvious. Where's the bridge? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's go knock this thing out. Hopefully refuel the car. I wonder how much influence I have. I don't want to look now because zombies are going to start spawning. I always park covering the hood. I can't believe I haven't said that yet. 
park with the hood up against something. That's, that's for darn sure. Okay, well, we'll take our free shots. We're definitely going to spam it with this 556. Let's see if we can get by the first phase without using a stim. And then try to get this whole heart on one stim. That would be great. Thumb's getting tired. Not really. Okay. Did I take an injury? I did not. Anything in here I can search? Does not appear to be. Anything in here I can throw? There is not. Um, traveling heavy, that's not a good idea. But, dude, if you're doing a solo, man, you can't be like faint of heart. You just gotta accept some things. And like, you know what? It's a game. And it's gonna be okay. Alright, I'm taking this. Dodging through some dudes. And these, I dodge from here and back, especially if I have a heavy weapon. Without the heavy weapon, a little trickier. But I dodge back. Yeah, around that little box is cool. And then hit it a few times. With a heavy weapon, I'll hit it once, maybe twice. Or you can just kind of loop back and forth. But I do like... I like the wind-up of being able to see what I'm doing here. I'm just dodging around the stuff. I don't get greedy with my shots. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to get bit. You know there's a lot of dudes around. Finish this mag. One bullet to spare. Let's go get that outpost, what do you say? And then we'll come back to loot. How do I get out of here? Get out of bridge. Let's spin this way. Don't take my door. Nice. I don't think I'll fix the car until that door is gone. I have this fast repair kit. We'll wait till the door is gone. I hope that horde doesn't follow me over here. Okay, let's get it before they come over here. Nice, espresso stand is clean. Okay, um, open outpost. What do I need? <laughs> oh, goodness. So... That backfired. I can't make espresso because I don't have the labor. Well, um, this got interesting. I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm just thinking, I guess. I don't have the labor. My girl can't make coffee on her own. That's too funny. Well, I guess we will see, truly. Yeah. One bullet left. Good thing I have it. Well, we're this far in. We're, we're not giving up on this now. Actually makes it a more interesting uh, playthrough, wouldn't you say? I would say this is more interesting. Okay. Well, sometimes you don't catch the brakes. I did all that for this, and now I can't use it. Oh, goodness. Is that now? I still don't know how many hearts are in the map, either. Well, it's a good location, nonetheless. that all day for sure. Cool. Do I have any fuel? Not there. Can I make her the leader yet? There we go. There we go. 
Alright, well that's the end of episode 2 and we discovered that our girl cat, the couch potato, is too lazy to even make herself an espresso. The stand was my grand plan and I failed to see that the minus one labor would cause me not to be able to even make coffee. That is hilarious. I think this makes the playthrough even more interesting. We're going to have even more fun. And like I said, my strength is on the attack, not on base building and outposting and all of that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Make sure you're subbed and hit that thumbs up. We're going to keep gaming straight through the apocalypse. And you can expect the next episode to be out 4 p.m. tomorrow on a Sunday. I hope, I hope you're enjoying a lazy weekend. And if she survives tomorrow, we will continue this series next weekend. We'll keep the party rolling. All right, we'll see you tomorrow in the next episode.